Greetings, Laddingtons. Today I thought to explain exactly what a juicy pale orc is. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to Viking Jewelry. You can check out their product first link in the description box below and if you fancy this elven bracelet you can utilize the code GLORIOUSLION30 for 30% off during the next 72 hours and for 20% off the rest of the products except for the first line since that is not made in Europe you can utilize the code GLORIOUSLION20 Do check them out, they do have some cool items in did obviously this one an elven style bracelet i thought that was most suitable for me anyway on to the topic at hand which is exactly what a juicy pale orc is so the story is that when i saw the hobbit films for the first time i thought everything was so great in it because as a hardcore lord of the rings fan i was so hyped before during and after and i just thought yeah the great the films were great i still think they are good obviously not on par with uh, lord of the rings but you can't really compare anything to lord of the rings so anyway i saw the film and i thought the juicy pale orc was uh, testosterone and epic in that sort of way there's especially one scene where he stares down another orc who rides comes at him on a varg thought that was a cool and high thumos scene so anyway there is also another take on what a juicy pale orc can be so i talked about elves a few weeks back and i talked about an elven aesthetics that i always tried to have an elven aesthetics but for certain guys they don't want to go along the path of an elven aesthetics and that's completely fine remember for a man it's more important your capabilities and abilities rather than what you look like so uh, something to keep in mind at all times Either way, so if we're talking about someone who wants to go along the path of a certain aesthetics, but perhaps he's bald, then he can say to himself, you know what, I'm, go I'm just going to be a juicy pale orc instead, and ignore the fact that my hair is falling off. Um, and you can look like Jason Statham or something like that, some high testosterone guy. Or if we're talking about physique, someone who does not cut for summer and says, I just want to be a juicy pale orc, so someone who is perhaps a strongman or a powerlifter, do not concern himself overly much of uh, the aesthetic side so he doesn't cut down, he's gonna go along the path of the juicy pale orc as being testosterone going after it. Uh, another thing, and I will quote my friend Identity at Svea, he said something really profound in an Instagram post a while back and he said, you can choose but you cannot not choose and this is exactly what I try to promote as well. You can choose. In his case it was between Bane and Brad Pitt in Fight Club. You can choose. You can choose one of them but you cannot not choose. So perhaps you want to go along the path of bulk, power, strength or perhaps you want to go along the path of being a bit more athletic. Both ways are completely fine and what I try to do and my wishes is that I can push some of you into training. So if I reach someone who isn't into training already and I want to push you along a path but you can choose the path yourself whichever path you take it's up to you but I just want you to start on it so if I say set the pace high to all of you lads some guys might go along the path of regular gym training just getting strong and aesthetic some guys want to go along the path of strongman or powerlifting some guys want to train MMA some guys find a local Thai boxing gym some guys fall in love with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu all of these ways are completely fine the most important thing is that you choose one of them so same thing when you choose your aesthetic just go for something go for it be a force of nature be high thumos be high energy and just choose something and go for it but what you cannot do is you cannot not choose and also yet again on the mentality of the juicy pale orc what it means is just you're being testosterone you're being driven you go forward you set the pace high on your certain endeavor that is what that means so uh, it is a bit heretical of me i know this because obviously the orcs are the enemy and uh, the men of the west and the elves and the dwarves are 
the uh, good people. But uh, I made an exception there because that was also before my time of supreme enlightenment. So, uh, but yeah, it is stuck with me anyway. So, long story short, set the pace high, be testosterone, go after it, set up your goals and go after them. So, thank you for watching. And who am I? I'm the Juicy Pale Orc, XXO. Boom.